free taster of late night culture. So late night culture now ranges in dairy from brawling in Waterloo Place to other street performances for the whole family. <laughs> culture now doesn't distinguish between or edit between high and low culture. Quality seems not to be an issue. It stands apart from or above the funding and established approvals protocol that tend to shape and measure our cultural experience. A question is spitting in the street part of our culture. Our Mickey Connors bear top, bottle top, horse drawn caravan, more antiques, architectural walking tours, and an evening of liturgical music equal in a smorgasbord of lights, camera, and cheese. Question is cultural flirtation like the promise of a muscle torso or a stocking thigh? or the promise towards a cultural promiscuity that offers a rich man's mosaic of choice. Talking this year with a colleague uh, who recounted her attempt to drag a young friend to last year's culture night, a friend whose culture tends towards bar hopping and man chasing, while others women chase, weekend warriors seeking their conquests. The nice look at him go to the bars, so <laughs> Question, is misogynistic camaraderie part of our culture? Who judges the authenticity of the cultural experience? Does that matter? or is always an issue of quality. In the field of architecture, is it valid and important to search or be inspired by wider contexts that may energize or, ch or charge our local architectural culture? Does the notion of fitting in or fitting in the local context dull and temper the lessons of dwelling in Amsterdam, cultural supermarkets in Barcelona, or glass cube theatres in Donaldson? How narrow are the collaborations of our cultural touchstones? Culture Night, I think, broadens concepts of culture and invades contributions hopefully not as bland as open channel TV, and allows all to reclaim the public space of the streets of our own cities and towns. Not right.